let's start. So, uh, you see, uh, today I've tried to, um, well, maybe tackle a bit uh, um problems we could have with humans with time and with how we could probably solve it with normal time uh i want to send huge credits to john skeet who is author of another time who author of a lot of answers on stack overflow uh author of uh, different interesting book uh, regarding dot net so um well let's move on and uh, about myself it's me uh, my professional traits not all of them but uh, still related to the probably theme of our um, discussion and you see uh, i'm a fan of strong state static typing i don't like comments and i do like um, any way to uh, do the uh, programming easier that's why uh, all this other products and so on but it's me and what will we uh, do here today <laughs> so the start of the story then why worry and so on uh, if you will uh, look this um, lecture on youtube and if you don't like the if you know everything about how time is um, counted and uh, what we have uh, in a real world you can skip up to the step set and if you know dotnet pcl base class library you could just skip to the node time and yes yeah, sorry guys but it's maybe uh all this lecture is all about the my experience uh, if you have already worked with another time mm, well i doubt i could uh, add anything new to your knowledge so please uh, feel free to skip the <laughs> the whole lecture and let's start so and the story begins uh, it was uh, i have to say that it says from new york man from pbo i just tried to create some um, well abstract requirement but uh, i have to mention that it wasn't a synthetical pbi it was a real story it was uh, on my uh, previous project uh, that uh, was supported for a long time and we <clears throat> were working with uh, one time zone for very long time a lot of code was written and then uh, product owner says hmm some customer has two factories and he wants uh, to support different time zones of course the description was not so uh, laconic as it is here there were more text written but uh, that's it uh, by the way i have mentioned the this requirement uh, uh, thanks teams who was working with me that days uh, you were awesome and uh, just to give more background to the situation uh, why i mentioned two factories it's because each factory generates some data flow that is stored in a single shared database so you have more than one factory but you have still one database and a uh, dedicated service is used uh, to store the data so uh, three factories for example three dedicated services but still one database and uh, each uh, factory as well as service as well as well uh, dedicated on-prem server has some local time set uh okay but still what do we want with this support of different time zones after another refinement we see that uh, we couldn't uh, rewrite database and related service just because uh, we have a lot of things to do to rewrite it so uh, if you are uh, doing something new it's not your case for for our case um, software was existing for uh, more than two decades uh, then date should be shown for user uh, in local time so no utc should be shown and uh, you can imagine as a database couldn't be rewritten so the same local time is stored in database uh, we have some set of scheduled tasks uh, like 
I want to have, uh, not I, but <laughs> manager uh, wants to have some uh, very important report each Monday at nine o'clock. Uh, and that uh, report should be related to the uh, results of the previous uh, week. And of course, if you are manager in, uh, for instance, um, Europe, and you want to have some um, reports from USA, uh, you might be in problem if, uh, uh, let's say not Europe, but let's take Eastern part in uh, ex-USSR uh, factory, and you want to take together some uh, results from the factories uh, in USA, you might have a problem because, uh, uh, the week is not finished yet on the uh, site at your nine o'clock. So that's uh, like this. And uh, of course we shouldn't break uh, all other things. And um, okay, I guess um, requirement is clear. By the way, I forgot to mention that if you have any questions, don't hesitate to interrupt me. Uh, so, what is the problem? Why worry? Why we need to uh, think carefully about that uh, PBI? <clears throat> and that's why I have to dive deep into the um, way we are working with time. So we have different time periods or units in other terms. Uh, with astronomical region, uh, year, season, or month, weekday, you know, time uh, Earth rotates around the sun, uh, uh, related seasons, time month uh, rotates uh, around the Earth, taking into account the Earth spin as well. Day is regarding Earth spin and week, um, it's cumbersome, but um, I guess it's taken from the quarters of visible moon. And there is cultural origin. Era, month, week, minute, and second. Why we have seven days per week? Uh, you see, I have a week both here and there, but I'll uh, mention it later, uh, why it is also cultural. Why we have 60 minutes in an hour. I've, by the way, I forgot to <laughs> put here hour, sorry. Uh, the same for second. And uh, to make things even more uh, complicated, we have both. Uh, astronomical and cultural region that are time zone and the life saving time. Uh, further use this DST abbreviation. Um, and uh, okay, I guess most of these things are familiar to you, but let's uh, try to um, familiarize you more. <laughs> and let's start with calendars. So, uh, you know, there is Gregorian calendar we all are using. We have some era, Anno Domini, uh, since uh, Christ's birth. And uh, I've taken the Korean calendar to the, um, show the easiest example, like the first January in 2001 is first January in 4,000 and something of the current era in Korean calendar. Then we have Hebrew calendar. Um, two errors. Again, the same year shift, so you see uh, year numbers don't correlate. We have leap years in that calendar. Uh, it, they are calculated as, um, so they have 19 year cycle uh, and each third, six and so on uh, year a leap. So uh, you see no, <clears throat> obvious logic why it is three, six, then not ninth, but eighth, then again plus three, and then again not not twentieth, but ninth year. And we have uh, leap years, uh, we ha should have different uh, count of days per uh, leap year. Okay, common year is uh, this, and leap year is that. And you see that even the common year has a variable uh, count of days. Yes, things are complex. Then Japanese calendar um, may be um, not so uh, tweaked with 
uh, leap year, but errors. Um, uh, they have a rule, one rain, one error name, or in other words, one emperor, uh, one error name. That's why since 1868, Anno Domini, five errors has changed. And it's not the problem that they have changed. So the problem is that they uh, change uh, unpredictably and rapidly, because uh, uh, like an example, uh, two years ago, um, new Rava era uh, has started and information about the start of this era and the name of this era was known just a month before. Uh, if you have to support uh, some date parsing or formatting, uh, well, lucky are you <laughs> to make all changes and uh, deploy them to your customer in one month. Uh, in addition, they have special name Garnin for first year. So it's this 2019 is uh, not a fast Rava, but it is Rava Garnin. And uh, again, this first year lasts uh, not uh, from the January, but from the start day of the era. This time it was May 1, May the 1st. <clears throat> And uh, then we have another uh, good example of uh, good intention, but bad results, leap week calendar. Uh, you see, it looks pretty um, wise. Each month has the same count of days. Each date in any month uh, is the same. Um, weekday just because we have 28 um, days per month so there are no shift between months and uh, to cover the gap that we have uh, 365 or 366 uh, 365 and 366 days per uh, year uh, another month on December was added and another small month with maybe one or two year days was added to for normal and leap years. And it looks uh, good, but the problem is that it's not the only uh, variant of leap week calendar. There are other variants and you know the joke about 14 uh, standards, that's it. So, um, and they got another problem with Libby calendar, uh, several um, uh, times it was tried to be introduced in uh, real life. It was uh, during the French Revolution. It was during the revolution in uh, Russia um, last century, but it was failed just because we are too used to our old way of counting days. And it was calendars, and let's check other funny facts about this time it is week. As I've said, usually it is seven days, just because uh, we have probably lunar month that is naturally divided into four um, parts uh, using moon quarters. And it is so, but it isn't because in ancient Rome it was eight days, Baltic countries and Welsh uh, historically, again, it was nine days. So different in times. Then we have work days and um, at least in Europe uh, and USA, they are from Monday till Friday, uh, but there are other countries where it might be a Monday, Saturday, and so on. And there is uh, even one exceptional um, country. I don't remember which one, but uh, I guess it's somewhere from Asia where Friday is still a uh, holiday. That's why we have four holiday, Saturday, and then another holiday. And you, in some countries, it is even not set. So it is mixed. Then uh, first day of week, um, I guess no surprise about Sunday and Monday, but Saturday and Friday. Yes, it might be uh, as well first day of week. Um, from my perspective, uh, we just have to add all other uh, three days to have the full um, deck and we just don't worry about <laughs> uh, 
teaching what days cannot be the first one. And then week numbering. Um, it is used usually in business uh, because it's easy to understand when you know the uh, number of week uh, when it was inside the year. Uh, usual year has uh, 52 or 53 weeks. And if, um, for instance, we are talking about week 26 that, or 27th, that, mm, okay, it is somewhere in the middle. Uh, but again, there are different standards how to pick the first week. Uh, it is, I saw 8601, it uh, describes not only week numbering, but it tries to tackle a whole um, time counting things. Uh, and it, takes the week that has uh, more days of the new year than the previous year. You see this uh, greater or equal four days, or it should contain first Thursday or January 4th. It is all the same. Uh, then uh, there is another standard that just take uh, the first week this, that is totally inside the new year uh, and it takes first it should have first Monday and Monday is in quote marks just because um, it's, it's not Monday, it's maybe Sunday, Monday, Monday, uh, maybe some other first day of week. Or uh, there is another standard that takes last Sunday. Uh, so if any week contains any kind of days of new year, then it is related to the new year. Um, no uh, strict rules regarding all these, but uh, maybe the most generally used is the first variant. So that's all about weeks, leap years. I guess you know all about this. Four, not by divided by 100, but should be divided by 400. And I guess uh, just because we uh, don't have a long history of using the Gregorian calendar, we don't have this. Um, set of dividing or not dividing continued. Uh, yes, it's all about 28th of February. Guys uh, born the date um, might be called with strange name. And also in some countries uh, for <clears throat> generic years, the official birthday is moved day before or day next. Um, and you know the story that the day girls can make a proposal to guys. Then time zones and the life seven time. Um, usually time zones are marked as UTC plus something. UTC is coordinated universal time. Uh, I, guess, I guess you can imagine why it is not abbreviated as CUT. Uh, so it is plus in Eastern Hemisphere or minus sometime in Western Hemisphere. Uh, an example of some time zone is uh, name and uh, UTC and shift. Yeah, it is real time zone, Roman standard time, and it is related to Paris at least. Uh, so <laughs> if you like uh, singing or hearing, you could visit that time zone. Uh, the minimal value is minus 12 in US uh, Baker Islands. Uh, it is not always whole um, hours. Uh, shift is not always whole hours. It is like half an hour in India or three halves of an hour in Nepal. And maximum is plus 14. And you could imagine that minus 20 and plus 14 provides a situation when on the earth we can have three different dates at the same time. Uh, like it might be yes, um, sorry, uh, 1 a.m. on Baker Islands um, for tomorrow, let's say so. It might be today in Western world and it might be uh, 1, not 1, but uh, 11 p.m. in Kiribati line islands. Yes, it looks uh, complicated. Uh, the simpler is nautical uh, time zones. They just said that each 15 degrees is another one hour shift. And um, you know, from USA or maybe from Canada or Russian Federation, there might be uh, more than one time zone per, per country. 
and even per smaller part of country, per state, like in Indiana, uh, they have two neighbors, I mean, two neighboring states with different time zones. And problem is that uh, some counties of Indiana, um, peoples are commuting uh, to work from that counties to other states and they want to live in other time. And uh, it is long lasting battle uh, that uh, they have changed the um, uh, time zone for different counties maybe 15 times in a row and i'm not sure it if it is already uh, set then dst might be used or not uh, changes on different dates you know in europe or actually sar at least it is uh, last uh, sunday of uh, march and last sunday of um, well october but uh, in usa it is different and on different time uh, again your union and xusr it is three o'clock um, a.m and uh, i'm not sure about what other places but it might be changed in at uh, midnight and again uh, dst is usually plus one hour but we have exception of course exceptions rules the world uh, to register all possible time zones, to regulate them, uh, there is TZ database, time zone database, also known as TZ data, also known as IANA time zone database. IANA, yes, the same organization that um, also rules the internet domain names. And again, we have exception, Windows time zones. Uh, they both are trying to um rule the same time zones but they have different names and sometimes even different uh, data uh, usually it is related to changes that probably introduce it in tz but not introduce it yet in windows so that's it uh, almost uh, uh, it but uh, talking about time zone uh, you all know elon musk uh, I have to share this tweet and guys who know React, um, well, <clears throat> uh, the same joke related to time zone. And for sure on different planets, uh, they will have different way of counting time and time zones and so on. So we are yet lucky to support only one planet <clears throat> and then let's uh, check all problems maybe not mentioned previously leap seconds uh, have you heard about it or not we have also another unstable uh, duration of day as uh, leap second is related to probably volcanic activity or something else and sometimes we need to uh, fix the uh, duration of day either at one second and it is at, at midnight you see it is possible to have 60 seconds in um, timer uh, or remove one second so 59 seconds is removed and utc and unix time doesn't count it so it is added utc and unix time sources are shifted but if you are trying to get count of seconds for the shifted date you will still have the same um, i mean for corrected day you will still have the same count of seconds as for non-corrected day uh, yes things are complex and uh, please don't use utc or unix time to uh, gather some period of times um, you could lose or have an extra second uh, then to sum up year month they mean it uh, our have different duration have different start of periods uh, now i'm talking about weekdays and end of period again weekdays last day of month you know when something is scheduled on the 31st day for all month we are in trouble where to start it really uh, at the end of the month or at the first um, of the next month and the same for second because of leap second 
arithmetic is uh, well cumbersome. Then uh, time zone these two rules are affected by politics, so uh, they might be um, changed when you don't expect it. Uh, Russia Federation were changing um, in 2012 and 13, if I'm not wrong. Uh, the rules uh, just a few weeks before the DST should start. It was really pretty <clears throat> hot. Uh, then we have local times and UTC time. And in both cases, we use same word, time and they're different. I'll try to explain it later, but just put it into your head and don't forget about it. And in result, DST might introduce impossible local times. You remember when we shift um, from uh, um, during the introducing DST, uh, let's say in March, when we shift from 3rd AM to 4th AM, all times between 3rd and 4th AM um, just are impossible. Again, validation and arithmetic is complex. And uh, last but not least, um, well, uh, all these things that are related to calendar, uh, serialization, deserialization, parsing, and so on, are all related to cultural aspects. You just have to know all them and also to not forget to change. So that's it. I hope I have scared you enough <laughs> to see that time is complex uh, domain. Uh, so um, we wouldn't write our own calendars or calculators or so on. Let's use we have something uh, in BCL. A uh, lot of things and uh, even more uh, will be introduced soon. You see that date only or time only in, in .NET 6. Uh, just to explain what is the difference between date time and date only is um, easy on time only um, structure. For instance, if you have night shift and want uh, to, works, to work uh, since, uh, let it be 22, uh, till uh, six uh, in the morning. Uh, in time only, you just can add eight hours to 22 uh, evening time and it will be six o'clock and no day change like it will be in daytime. Uh, so I guess you are familiar at least with fast part. Uh, Put your attention that time zone is deprecated. We should have time zone info be used. And all other things are more related to that cultural aspects, globalization, and probably some supporting things for time zone, delay time, and the time styles, and so on. And um, what's wrong with all these things? Why I have called them bikes and uh, in quote marks and why we have uh, all this discussion. Uh, to get the idea, let's start with the history, how all these things were added. So in uh, all credits to brief history of Windows programming revolutions, if you hadn't, hadn't had about it, uh, please Google for it for um, Russian speaker uh, listeners. Um, this fatal flow is called as fatal uh, nedostatek. It will be easier to Google for it. So um, that story was regarding uh, OLE, uh, DDE, COM, DLLs, and other. Uh, problems with versioning, but here we have another part of story. Only thing is that it is again um, provided by Microsoft. So in old Visual Basic we had date. Uh, you see the name is date, but uh, definitely it was working with both parts, date and time. Okay, we, will, we have fixed it in .NET 1, we introduced date time that uh, has what it uh, how it is named, both parts. And um, unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, I have no more idea about .NET 1, uh, but let's talk about .NET 1 and 
one, the improved version of .NET, uh, you see they have added time span and time zone. Then uh, .NET 2.0, they have added uh, daytime kind and daytime of set, then daytime zone in four, and then mention daytime, date only, time only. And to uh, show how they work, I prepared some uh, test uh, test code, and let's start with the time. I'm very bad uh, with um, creating some examples. That's why, like, let's just take some vaccination scheduler, and you know, you have fast uh, injection of vaccine. Uh, you had to calculate next injection, so uh, you know that for the specific vaccine, we have some days count between injections and. We just want to get the second date. And you see there is vaccination scheduler uh, interface. Uh, it is as simple as we get date and uh, return the second date for it. So let's check how the second date is calculated. Uh, oops, there is no possibility to calculate it, at least from the documentation. Sorry, I was lazy. I hadn't tried to install .NET 100 on my local machine to not break everything. But at least if I trust documentation, um, there is no way to change the date time. OK, wonderful. But just to show how well, I'll uh, investigate the, uh, all that stuff. I'll show the test. So an idea is to have 90 days of vaccination. Uh, start with some date. Uh, it is 8th of the March. Um, have the expected date. It is the 6th of the June, you know, because we have in between two months with 31 days. That's why two days were uh, shifted from eight to six and um, get second date and assert that they are equal. Okay, nothing to say here, only thing that obviously test will fail. I'll just show that at least testing <laughs> framework works. Uh, test will fail with information that not implemented. I am bad in .NET 1.0. Uh, let's move next to the um, okay. This vaccination scheduler implemented with uh, uh, .NET one and one. So we have the same preamble, and we have different ways to add dates. Uh, just as simple as it might be, add dates. Then more complicated, we get ticks, you know, probably know all dates are uh, just wrapper over the ticks count. That is 100 of uh, nanosecond. And we get ticks, convert our days count to the ticks, uh, add them and convert it back to the daytime. Daytime constructor supports uh, ticks. Uh, then we can perform some black magic. Again, it's... Um, Relating to old history, if you're working with Windows or old all automation or not .NET, uh, the format of date is like uh, just decimal and integer, integer part uh, is days count and fractional part is uh, part of the day. So we could just convert to OA date, all automation date, add our days and convert, convert it back. I just shown it here for the sake of um, curiosity, and we have decompile. Decompile just uh, get all date parts from the first date at our days count. The real math is here, and uh, also take seconds and just convert it back to date time. So that's it, and uh, let's start. Let's skip this one implementation. Let's start with test. So initially we'll test the compile and you see I just put uh, these dates into the beginning to not repeat them each time. Uh, run the test. Uh, it thinks a bit. I'll just close this one and everything is okay. 
well, at least I hadn't mistaken with the date times. Uh, but what the problem is with the compile? Let's check the code of the compile. Uh, do you have any ideas? And yes, it's time to unmute your microphone and say something because I don't have any feedback <laughs> yet. Guys, are you still here? Wonderful. Okay. Uh, let's... Uh, 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 no, no, it's it's not yet related to time zone. Uh, you see, it uh, gives me an exception, and uh, exception is even not in a third, but before when I pre pre try to perform the decompile, it says that um, the parameters describe an unrepresentable date time. That time when uh, in this place I'm trying to add 90 days and definitely there are no uh, okay uh, 8 plus plus 90 it will be 98 there is no 98th of uh, March unfortunately I will know this only that time when I'm trying to perform the math uh, and if I would make this think everything will be okay you know so my code is fragile for some specific scenarios and i will know it only during rain time so don't use the compile for such things uh, let's forget about the compile and let's check another implementation of vaccination scheduler maybe ideal who knows and this time I've tried to implement additional interface that is related to U2C. And yeah, that's my first attempt to work with um, uh, zone time. So uh, we have local and zone. And you see, if I check the interface, it is the same as the previous one. And only difference is this uh, suffix in name of method and suffix in name of uh, argument. Um, it smells like a hungry annotation, right? And uh, it receives and returns the same date time. And later we will see the problem we have with it. So uh, remember, we have introduced a time span. So instead of taking some int that might be passed wrong, instead of the count, uh, we can pass there. I don't know, employees number or ID or anything else. Uh, we receive time span that definitely uh, implements some period of time. And you see, if I check the name implementation of get second date and second date you to see, it's just simple plus. Um, nothing special, nothing um, tricky. Uh, they have, I mean, .NET has implemented arithmetic for us, just use correct uh, types. Date time and time span works together. Uh, let's check. <clears throat> so initially let's check this ideal maybe. Uh, an idea is the same as previously. We get second date for the 8th of March and ensure that it is the June 6th. <clears throat> And yes, it is passed, you see green mark, no problems, let's move further. Uh, you remember that time zone was implemented, and yeah, this time I was working with scheduler that is vaccination scheduler, and next time I will work with this uh, UTC scheduler, because I want to work with time zones. And it reduced time zone uh, structure currently is deprecated. We will see why it is so. So uh, let's check zoned and to work with zoned, I'll try to use my time zone to convert uh, to universal time from my 8th of March. So approach is the same. I get that second date, but only we have to wrap it with uh, converting initially to universal time and then from universal time to local time. So let's run it. Mm, and it says as error. Let's check what error is. I hope you see this small, sorry, I can't zoom it in. Expected is 3.30, but we receive 4.30. What is the reason? 
The reason is that all previous times we were testing the local time and 3.30 is same on both guys. But when we are working with UTC, we still add the same amount of days and time shouldn't be affected, but thanks to uh, daylight saving time, when we convert back from UTC to local time, uh, time is shifted and now we have 4.30. Same time in UTC, but different times in time zone. Okay, life is more complicated and you see that it's not the only problem we have. Uh, not the problem, but well, uh, or, um, weak point, let's name it so. Uh, we have another point that we have my time zone and I just miss it, convert back from you to see. You see this second line after the calculation is missed here. Uh, let's check. Uh, it is executed, it is failed, but problem is that fail is just because uh, we're expecting 3.30, receive 1.30, the UTC time, but no one says that we are trying to compare local time and UTC time. That's the reason why uh, we have in .NET 2.0 implemented daytime kind and daytime offset and uh, let's work with them. First of all, talking about uh, daytime offset, you see I just implemented another method. That's why another version of vaccination scheduler is present and another interface is present here as simple as possible, get second date offset. And probably you see the pattern that uh, we have get second date for daytime or daytime of set. And it would be good to implement something like this, just um, generic interface that receives T. But the problem is that I can't do it because uh, get second date will work both for, sorry, I have to open that to zero again will work both for uh, get second date UTC and just second date because we have the same date time type. That's why I still can't use generic interface. So that's implementation, pretty neat and simple as it was before. And just another demo set, by the way, again to mention, uh, math works correct with time span. Uh, it's not a problem. And let's check the test. Uh, again, I have um, the same preambula, the same time span, my time zone, two schedulers, one for UTC and one for offset. Let's check it. So check second date. Uh, again, I'm trying to ensure that it is okay. And it is, you see, I have extra assert written here that just checks that uh, kind are equal and they are do equal. <laughs> Let's check uh, the same problem we have previously when I just forgot to, um, well, uh, to translate from UTC back. Control RT. Uh, and if I check the error, you see, um, there is still no compile time warning about different times, local and uh, zoned uh, or UTC. But at least I see uh, in the comparison of kind, I see this problem that uh, all this stuff I've written here is shown there and expected was local. Uh, expected is local, but it was UTC. So the real problem, you have to compare kind each and every time, but at least you can catch the issue. And uh, let's check another interesting thing. What if I try to convert to local time twice? Uh, Control RT. Um, and probably the best way is to also show it in a debugger. Um, 
you see, we are still get here. We have no problems with this second time conversion. I've tried to convert to local time once from actual to received, and then convert it again from received to local. No exceptions, no errors. Uh, it just does nothing. 630 and 630 are the same. But wait, um, what are 630? I have worked with 330 in local time. Only thing I've done is to convert it to local time. I've said it here. And what is the value? 530 instead of 330. Wonderful. Uh, so in addition to um, the problem with double conversion, we have caught uh, the problem with uh, wrong uh, specifying of daytime kind. It is really local daytime, but this local time also change the time. Wonderful. So uh, you see, as it is still daytime, it's easy to make a mistake. And the uh, uh, correct variant is to use this, I have named them kind uh, much, and to introduce the time kind inside the constructor. By the way, you cannot uh, change the daytime kind because whole daytime uh, structure is immutable. So it's not possible to set it in any other way than to put it into constructor. So let's check how kind it works. Um, now I take this kind and return it back. I have an error, but this time that error is again regarding the shifted time. For 30. Nothing new. We just see that it works as <laughs> may be expected, but uh, but let's check. You remember there was an offset. Let's check kind of with offset. Previously, I was using time zone to universal time. Offset provides me a bit other way to convert to universal time. And you see, the time offset uh, knows about my time zone, uh, and I can't uh, at least for easy change it to universal time. Doesn't has any parameter to receive time zone. Uh, then I take the um, second date, convert it back to the time, first to the local time from the time of send, and then to the time as I still want to compare the date times. And let's check what we have. Control RT, kind should be same, assert should be same, but it's not true, it's failed. And if I check kind of set, you see, kinds are different, local and unspecified. The problem is that uh, the time property that the time of set provides us always returns unspecified kind. You see, uh, to, uh, well, uh, Two types were added in same.net, kind and date time of set, and both of them works uh, well. Date time of set doesn't work correctly with date time kind. Uh, is this a good way of implementation? I don't know, but at least you have to know about it. And let's check another problem. It is named kind at runtime, and I also forget an have forgotten to show you another interesting thing, and it should be not here, not here. Sorry, sorry, just checking my code. Uh, okay, I guess I have to write it manually. So, just for information perspective, console, right line, my TZ display daylight name, let it be so. So uh, you see, I've tried to fix this uh, problem with extra hour, and now I'm expecting fourth uh, hour. Then I have um, some specific date, 28th of March, uh, and thus plus 20 here, so plus 20 uh, dates here. And uh, again, what is your expectation where this uh, 
test will fail and will it fail at all? Okay, silence, I run it, and I check it and everything is okay. And you see it was added uh, right line just to know the um, time zone. I'm currently using flat daylight time. Uh, we will return to it back uh, later, uh, but currently the problem with this test is that it should fail. You remember I was talking about um, incorrect local times. Uh, this date is last Sunday of March. This time is not possible uh, to be uh, recorded from a real um, time just because immediately after 2.59.59 we have 4.00. So 3.30 is just impossible. And um, all uh, things, and now I uh, want to blame time zone, uh, uh, it works as it, it is correct. So you see, we're trying to convert to some universal time and it doesn't say us anything. Uh, that's the reason why in .NET 3 file time zone info was introduced and time zone is deprecated. So let's move to this uh, .NET 3.5 time zone info, but before this I'd like to show that flat a time. I've tried to search for it. You see there are different um, uh, well, time zone that has similar UTC. Uh, and if I check the uh, this time, I found that Eastern European time is this FLA standard time uh, due to its use on Microsoft Windows. Finally, here you see the difference between TZDB um name of time zone eastern european time and windows registry flash standard time it's not the only problem uh, if you're trying to work with both database you will see them regularly <clears throat> yes names are different why <laughs> i don't know uh, and yes, there is mapping between IANA and Windows registry, and you see this flash standard time. Could we map it? Oh, let's start like here into different um, TZDB time zones. Yes, things are interesting. And again, uh, to say about the time of set, documentation says that the time kind is always unspecified. It is documented, but you have to know it <laughs> because no one reads documentation before the bugs. Uh, so let's move to the .NET 3.5 time zone in four. We have uh, nothing changed in vaccination schedule implementation. I use the old one, but instead of my time zone in four taken from time zone, I take the whole time zone in four and let's check how it works. And by the way, you see that this time I just added this extra hour to work correctly with daytime, uh, with daylight saving time uh, to have correct expectations. So let's check how it works. Uh, may I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Uh, so, uh, what uh, is uh, the supposed uh, correct behavior uh, when uh, we encounter uh, impossible uh, time? Wonderful. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I'll ask for this question later. Uh, but thanks that you that you touched it. Uh, uh, so <clears throat> uh, we have see, still eighth of March. It's possible time, and let's check how it works. Oh, sorry. Control R T. Um, well, it works. Okay, at least time zone info is not um, spoiled from the very beginning. Let's move further. Let's make a mistake and forget to convert from UTC. We convert some time to UTC, but not from. 
control R T. Um, oops, it just failed. And uh, Y. Let's check the uh, output. I'll just wrap up previous tests. Miss it from UTC. Mm, ah, okay, it is filed correctly. Again, it checks the kind. So kind of actual add is UTC. We can uh, catch it, but we should know to catch it. Mm, again, problem is in runtime, not in compile time. But at least we see that it is the correct kind uh, actual add is in UTC not unspecified. <laughs> Let's move further. What if we forget to convert both uh, to and from? You see here I've done the conversion to, but instead of using this um, <clears throat> local variable, I just put into get second date kind in March 8th. First of all, you see there are no compiler problems. This is daytime, this is daytime as well. Okay, wonderful. We uh, could live with it. So I run the test. And it is failed. And the reason of fail is just different times. You see, because I'm working with local time, no daylight saving is applied. So I'm expecting four hours with daylight saving, but I still have three hours because it's still local time. So, but no problems with kind. Uh, again, uh, kind uh, is helpful. We've seen it in previous example, but if you have uh, done two mistakes, they might uh, result into the problem that kind wouldn't be helpful. Um, okay, what if we forgot to convert to UTC? Control RT, I guess. No um, worries. Uh, here again, use kinded by try to convert from UTC back. And what if I check? Wow, I have in line 80 this line. I have an exception. So even our cells are not touched. That's because time zone while trying to convert from UTC checks the uh, daytime kind of the um, daytime I have here. Remember, uh, in uh, all test uh, in version 2.0, uh, when I tried to, let me, when I tried to do the local time conversion twice, um, not here, Oops, not here. You see, I have already forgotten it. Um, yeah, here I have only problem uh, in uh, uh, the comparison of date, but no problem even in runtime when I'm trying to convert local time twice. Now, finally, I have yet a runtime error, but it is converted, uh, it is uh, checked immediately here. I guess this approach is better than previous one, but yes, it's still runtime. Then uh, what if we have a specified kind? Mm, that's why I want to uh, not use that kind at daytime, but just construct another data with, you see, unspecified control RT. Uh, everything is good, but we don't want them to be good because it, it's a it is unspecified, it might be UTC, it might be local. <clears throat> uh, from my perspective, I expect that this convert time uh, still should be filing as in a previous test, but it's not the case. Um, honestly, same when you're preparing, say, some API or some library code and it behaves differently uh, in different, um, adjacent methods, similar but different methods. Well, it's pain, <laughs> painful. Okay, uh, what do we, we have in valid local time? You remember this 28th of uh, March, control RT. Uh, I have an exception, no uh, surprise. And I have an exception in line 113, this one. So. That time when I try to convert to UTC, time zone in fall, 
checks my time zone. Uh, you see, it checks my time zone. It checks the local date and say, mm, well, sorry, but in this time zone, it's impossible. Uh, the supplier date time, blah, 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 blah. Probably similar we have in time zone. And what if we... So this was not possible uh, before, but uh, uh, became possible with the time zone info, right? Uh, uh, so it was, again, if I return back to this runtime, here it was successful. Time zone, that was a big fault of time zone that it doesn't take into account run times. And now it, uh, uh, time zone in four, uh, time zone in four just provides us an argument exception. So now it's possible to catch the problem. Uh, I hope it's clear now. Yes, thank you. <clears throat> yeah, not, not at all. So uh, you see it says that, um, well, 3.30 is not good, but uh, always, you know, if you have a uh, range with start and end, um, you should check not only start, but also end. Um, and there is another uh, possible, but problematic time. This time is last Sunday of October, Island morning. I named it, and here I expect an exception. You see, that's why I write this uh, complicated assert. Uh, and um, if it will throw, it will be success, but it is failed because, because uh, I expected, um, let me just open it. I expected an exception, but instead I have the message from my assert. Some local date, the times could be transferred to more than one UTC date time. Remember, uh, at the end of October, we have three hour and some minutes twice. We have first three hour and something until we uh, get to four hours and the time uh, uh, clock is shifted back and we have another three hours. So uh, returning back to your question, what should we do with impossible time zone? Another question, what should we do with... Um, when it happens twice. Uh, yes, with ambiguous, they name it so, times, uh, not time zones, but times. Yeah. And again, uh, again, again, let's uh, show the answer in what we currently have in .NET. Uh, I have named it .NET most ideal vaccination scheduler, and it is. Let me just uh, wrap up it. Sorry, hadn't been prepared from the beginning. Uh, the most ideal in uh, at least um, .NET Core, um, .NET 5, .NET 6, because you see it doesn't use the date only, time only uh, things. That's why we are on the bleeding edge of the technologies, uh, at least from the .NET framework point of view. Simple as it was, um, again, time span, use it. Again, math is simple, but additionally, we have to put validation each and every time. And validation, again, is not uh, rocket science. For you to see, we just check the kind. And for local time, we take time zone or use, um, you see, local time zone. And we have to check kind, we have to check invalid time and ambiguous time. And currently, uh, only thing we can do is to return false if it is invalid and probably process that um, false status somehow. But you see here I'm processing it still with an argument exception. And the problem is that there is, returning back to your question, uh, there is no clear answer. What should we do with um, ambiguous time? Uh, the time that could be occur twice. There is clear answer regarding invalid time. Well, it shouldn't occur. So uh, you have some problems in your day time preparing uh, pipeline before the code that tries to uh, work with it. That's why... Um, you shouldn't fix problem here, you should pro fix problem somewhere before and only developer knows it. And that's why uh, using the time we have only one possibility is to throw an exception. That's 
only thing we can do or not for an exception but like show some message uh, please re-enter your time because this one is not valid or do whatever things but you can do this only in runtime and regarding ambiguous time uh, this one things are more complicated because uh, well uh, i don't know what is your business rules what this says uh, if you have recorded uh, 330 uh, in the late october then probably you are in trouble uh, you better record not daytime but record the daytime of set or even uh, utc time and then you can map back to local time but not map from local time to utc or other zoned uh, time uh, yes remember the first part of uh, my lecture the times are complex <laughs> uh, and yes no uh, simple answers uh, like uh, first approach uh, it is wag a bit a bit but i can suggest just convert it to fast time so it will be like 3 30 uh, in utc time or sorry it will be 2 30 in utc time because we have shift minus one hour uh, and again you have to choose this way uh, manually when you are writing code and you have to for instance another validation that check that is ambiguous and affect the time uh, we have to perform this minus one hour or uh, minus other um, daylight saving time shift. You remember that 30 minutes in on some islands. I don't remember Kiribati probably. And uh, yes, you have to write extra code as usual. So uh, the most ideal uh, vaccination scheduler is still has simple math until you have to bother with all that uh, impossible or ambiguous date uh, but still even validation is cumbersome and please pay another attention if i provide this um, scheduler as a part of a library i have to check my input each time when method is called uh, performance well we have problems with performance uh, that's what we have so let's return back to presentation and uh, sum up all things uh, all things we have so you remember this story and is it fixed well naming well maybe it was fixed from date to date time but remember that night uh, six trying to, to introduce date only and time only uh, it seems that naming wasn't really um, fixed. Then .NET 1.1 uh, uh, fixes the problem how to manage with date, or at least documentation states so. Uh, was it fixed? Hmm. Again, no. Uh, you see all that my failed tests or succeeded tests with failed results uh, shows that uh, we still not uh, close to the good way of managing. Uh, .NET 1.1 introduced a time zone, but no kinds. Um, how to distinguish UTC and locals? How to distinguish it to check that it is UTC or local from variable name? Well, it's a very bad idea, trust me. <laughs> and uh, you will even know, don't have any runtime error for this kind. That's why kind is introduced in .NET. To oh, but again, it doesn't suit well for data offset, for time zone, and um, we have this kind unspecified that is added for backward compatibility with old code that uh, doesn't use kind, and that introduces another big side of problem. Uh, in .NET 3.5, we have time zone info that works with kind. Mm, yes, but no, you remember that unspecified case. And again, uh, it uh, works with invalid local times, not always uh, correctly. Uh, it works with um, non-existent time, but doesn't work with uh, uh, ambiguous time. And again, this time zone is 
uh, info is uh, taking data from the Windows time zone registry that is different from other things. Until you are still on Windows, until you are not working with someone uh, who doesn't use the .NET framework, you are in safety to use Windows Time Zone. But if you want to intercommunicate with other software, or if you want to update Time Zone just because another government has changed their rules about this daylight saving time or whatever. Uh, you cannot update it in your application. You have to ask uh, .NET Framework or even Windows about new hotfix. Wonderful. Uh, so uh, let's check, let's sum up. We have exception-driven logic. The time tries to uh, express everything, local, UTC, zone time, uh, probably even uh, um, impossible times and so on. If you want to work with daytime, you have to perform extra validation each time you work with daytime. Uh, again, uh, kind have flows, uh, time zone info have flows, daytime offset have flows. So we uh, don't have anything better than this. We should have used this. I'm sorry. We have to use this, but but to know all problems there are, um, it's not good tools to be used. Then Windows time zone registry update. I have already mentioned it. I hadn't yet mentioned the time now and UTC now, but I guess you know that how easy it is to write somewhere inside of your code day time now and get the now time, and how hard it is to test when you want to change the now. It's a good example of um, static variable injection and uh, dependency that is not uh, injected somewhere in a usual way, but just written inside the code. So yes, that's it. Uh, leap seconds doesn't count. Uh, it's probably the problem of all, um, not all, but most um, of the generic uh daytime libraries uh, not only in .NET, uh unix time utc time all about it and the serialization in the last time zone in four i just put it here because you remember the time doesn't store the time zone in four you have to bother with nah, well uh, daytime of set doesn't store the time zone in four you have the shift but you don't know is it shift using daylight saving uh, time or not. Is it related to one time zone that have uh, daylight saving time or not? Uh, so uh, to perform correct uh, serialization, the serialization, uh, you shouldn't forget to put time zone info as well to the daytime. Yes, it's um, very verbose. So solution. It should be some. Uh, no other time. Uh, another time was introduced by John Skid, but he is not a uh, first guy who has uh, invented this name. Uh, uh, he just uh, taken the Yoda time um, library from Java. And you know, usual approach to change uh, J to N. Here is not a time. That's about naming. Uh, unfortunately, currently no Star Wars uh, credits, but well, the other time is a good <laughs> name. So new types, and you see I've tried to mark in green all new types, and there are many of them. And yes, it should be so. So uh, instant, it's just some period of time. It's not related to time zone, it's like UTC. Uh, but uh, well, from first glance, let's treat it as UTC. Then we have zone daytime. It's daytime plus some zone, nothing more. And uh, uh, we have offset daytime, just daytime plus some offset. I suggest uh, rarely use this guy only for the case of um, interoperability with for instance, um, SQL that has also offset the time, uh, sorry, I guess it is named the time offset uh, as the same as in 
<clears throat> .net. Uh, because remember, offset uh, is not descriptive enough. You have difference from UTC, but you know nothing about um, was it in daylight saving time or not. Then we have local date time. And again, this guy is nothing um, related to uh, time zone. Everything regarding time zone put zone date time. And local date time is something that is not instant. It's just uh, some uh, the times that we expect to be shown on our regular watches or calendars or whatever, that is just local. And uh, we have in addition local date and local time. Remember that date only and time only. And uh, we have some date times on providers, BCL and TZDB. Yes, now the time can work with different registries. For, kind, for case of BCL, it just uses a .NET framework um, registry for time zone. And remember my um, warning regarding updating time zone registry, all problems are introduced there. If you use TZDB, you could just provide a small file, import it, and be happy. Uh, small text file that just provides another registry. It is uh, provided, uh, it might be taken from internet. Uh, so uh, I guess uh, for, um, it's even possible to perform some kind of automatical deployment, like just check the related site and uh, transform data to expected format, <clears throat> nothing more. And we have some supported um, types, duration and period. Remember time span. It's like it, but there is small different. Interval, sometimes you need uh, period start and period end. I mean, begin time of something and end time of something. I was bored to write uh, such a structure each time in every new project that works with periods. Here we have it out of the box. Clocks, I'll show why we need them and some additional uh, things. It's a day of week. You see Sunday is seventh. In .NET we have Sunday zero. Uh, it has, it's just a small change, but yes, it so states that um, Monday is first, Sunday is seventh. And uh, well, uh, that's it. Let's move to the um, code. Sorry, code is simple. Uh, I hadn't prepared a lot of things, but let's see. Uh, remember, I have talked about vaccination scheduler generic type. So if I check the how it looks, Yes, it looks like as we have expected. Get second date uh, for T, where T is some struct. And I have local date time and I have zone date time. And I can implement both just because they are different with input type. Just uh, different signature name can be simple. If I check the implementation, the same simple as it was. So you will say, Come on, but where is validation? Wait a bit. Uh, and also curious, um, well, uh, developer could see that here I use period and here I use duration. And I have two of them here, period and duration. Why two? Uh, what is the reason to have two of them? And let's check how my constructor works. It uh, just takes a period, convert it to duration, stores it and perform it here. Nothing magical, just we work with the new types. Is it beneficial? Well, still it is not clear. We have to learn new types. We have to bother with, an out, with another duration. And by the way, if I put period here, I will have an error, you see. So an idea, a fast idea of having to uh, think is that they should be different for local and zoned. Let's check it later. Uh, wrap up this guy. Then I have local um, date time for 8th of March and June. 
6th of June, then local March 28th and local 26th. And C, I don't use this one hour shift. Just because I want to have local time, the same as it was. Remember, I was uh, mentioned in my PBI that when we have something scheduled, it should be performed at the same time as it is in local. Not 4.30, but still 3.30. Let's check. So the check is pretty easy. No arrange, act uh, in local time scheduler. Here it is. And control our team. Uh, and believe me, I'm engineer, it works. Yeah, green mark. Uh, next one, uh, maybe wrong date. Again, March 28th. Believe me, I'm engineer. It works. But remember, we were thinking about wrong date. But stop. It's wrong date only in some specific uh, time zone not in every time zone. And it means that until we are talking about time zones, until we are in local date time domain, uh, this is valid time. That's why uh, it should work and it works. And there are no problems with this. Okay, uh, let's uh, take some specific time zone. You see here I'm using that time zone providers. BCL for the sake of simple, uh, uh, simplicity, get system default. So the same current time zone as we have in time zone info. <laughs> and let's check zoned. This time I have to uh, transform my local date time to the zoned date time. You see local uh, and zoned. And I have different ways to do this. One of it is just take time zone and say at leniently. Remember, I was promising to uh, answer the question, what should we do with uh, ambiguous and impossible uh, times? This is the answer. Uh, I couldn't um, transfer from local to uh, zoned. Uh, not specifying other way than at leniently or at uh, strict. Oops, I'm, I'm or at strictly. So leniently say that um, okay, uh, we have. Well, well, let's forget about it and um, talk about it later. I understand that I was a bit uh, earlier with discussion. So at leniently we convert it, we run it and we see something in result and we see an error and ex expected error is yeah 330 and 430 we expected it uh, but remember what is the problem the problem is that when we converted uh, zone uh, june we expect uh, let me show the test result again expected is 330. But the problem is that while we are adding 90 days, we are adding them in uh, zone. You see, I'm not converting to UTC and converting back, but it works like I was converting it UTC and back. It added precisely uh, 90 days no hour less. And as it is 90 days in UTC, uh, in my current time zone, it is 4.30. And that's why all these things that are correct in local daytime are not correct in zone daytime. Uh, you see, I have to think about uh, the expected uh, date uh, um, start to think about expected date. Uh, thinking from the domain perspective, is it local or is it zoned? That's why, yes, it is failed. And I'd say that it's something we expect. Then maybe wrong date, you remember that well. Uh, and here I want to show the this at Strictly, March 28th. Let's run the test. What am uh, I'm yep. so sorry, it's really interesting, but we have just uh, one two minute. minutes. 
okay. two minutes. Okay. Sorry, uh, sorry for taking so much time. Uh, so uh, when I check strictly, I have an error uh, again. Runtime line one o three. It strictly just says, "Guy, you have made a mistake." And but still, when I'm trying to do this at leniently, Control R T, everything uh, works with only problems at again for 330 and 430 and last uh, from instant if i want steal this 330 in both cases for zone daytime and instant you remember it's something like utc uh, it will be as expected uh, correct because i specified the 330 is not local like it was here it is in terms of utc and i'd like to, to show you the clock so I just, it's not the test, uh, but I want to show the result, how we can affect clock. You see, there is system clock, there is um, some fake clock, and this fake clock is set to some time. And if I check their output, system clock, uh, and yeah, there is 10 seconds wait. System clock is 10.59.59, 59. Uh, UTC now same. Uh, test clock is, oops, that one that we set uh, that time. In, tem in 10 seconds, we have this, and then uh, fake test clock is not changed. So it's good for testing. And returning back to presentation, uh, six, five. Uh, we have strong and weak points. I guess you will read them after the lecture. Sorry for taking all time example and we have summary uh, so how it was done in our project and the whole idea how it should be done at all yes things are complex don't trust simple solutions sorry for taking a lot of time please call me in uh, teams if you have questions Vadim, thank you so much. It was very 